All right, happening right now, just about four minutes away from that rocket launch over at the Cape. And United Launch Alliance is looking to send that Atlas V at 8.38. That is the scheduled time. But Daryl Nell says they got about a 20-minute window. A lot of it is depending on the weather right now. He's joining us live out at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Okay, we see the white caps behind you, so we know it's windy out there. It is windy, and that's the concern right now. But otherwise, the weather is looking really good. As you can see, clear skies here. The winds helped push a big bunch of clouds offshore, so that part is not a problem. But the winds are dancing around. I'll tell you this I just spoke with the Air Force. It has improved now to 60% chance for launch. I want to give you a look at the pad real quick and the rocket on the pad. That's an Atlas V rocket. It's carrying one of the U.S. Air Force's uh, GPS satellites on top of it, and that uh, launch has as you mentioned, scheduled for 8.38 p.m. As you look at that pad, you can see the winds coming up over the river and the effect that they're having on the water. Uh, we were dancing around 20 knots earlier. The cutoff, according to the Air Force, is 24 knots. And so as long as we're underneath that, we should be good to go. Winds are out of the north, which is a little more of a concern for a launch like this because they want that rocket to avoid any structure around it as there is a structure in the foreground, you can see. But one other thing I want to note as you're looking Looking at this picture, for those who are highly discerning launch viewers, you'll notice that there's a structure to the left of that rocket, and that's new to this launch pad. That's a crew tower where eventually in 2017, there will be manned launches from that launch pad, and they will go into space. They will get into that rocket and the capsule via that structure that's just off there to the left. So that's new. It's not in service now. Of course, this is an unmanned launch, but it is for use in the future and will uh, play a big role, a historic role, in putting men hey, back into space. I want hey, to pull back quickly. out now and talk to uh, Darryl, yes, sir. While, while you were talking there very quickly, we just heard that the, uh, sure. the Air Force right has given it the go-ahead to launch. So if you, people want to get outside very quickly, you got about two minutes, I believe. So they, we're hearing back here, I don't know if you've heard differently out there, that they've now given it the go-ahead. Yeah, we're go for launch. Everything is clear and go. But I would say this, in talking to the Air Force, this is a minute-by-minute minute thing. Okay. So if there is a big gust, we could get a hold. Is it likely? Probably not. But it's dancing on that line, and that'll be a real-time call. So, yes, green, go for now. But they are keeping a close eye on the winds at this moment. And we're only just uh, less than two minutes away. All right, and just a couple of uh, interesting facts about this launch. Again, it is uh, less than a minute now. Uh, they are, the, the actual satellite is for the United Air Force Global Positioning System, so it's a GPS satellite. Uh, it's comprised of 24 satellites that orbit the Earth. This is part of the GPS constellation. It's comprised of 24 satellites that orbit the Earth at an altitude approximately 11,000 miles. So always fascinating when you kind of get to the ins and outs of all of these, uh, all the technicalities of what yeah. they're doing out there and how many actual satellites are out there surrounding us is pretty fascinating. Daryl, our math says about 15 to 30 seconds away. Everything's still good? That's right, and we're just a few seconds away from uh, liftoff here. This rocket has 860,000 pounds of thrust. Let's listen in. RD-180 ignition. And we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the 12th GPS 2F satellite for the United States Air Force. The Global Positioning System provides worldwide positioning, navigation, and timing service for military and civilian users. We're hearing the voice of Marty Milanowski here providing launch vehicle ascent data. Speeds and injector pressures continue to look good. Look good. Engine performance continues to look good as well. Coming up 
on Mach 1 momentarily. Mach 1. Body rates continue to look very good. Engine performance is steady. Max Q. Booster has throttled back as expected. Engine signatures look good. Body rates continue to control right down the middle. Altitude is 13 miles, downrange distance 8.5 miles. Current velocity is 2200 miles per hour. Booster performance continues to look very good. Body rates are smooth. Coming up on our closed loop steering segment. And closed loop steering has been ena right. enabled. There you have it. Just a beautiful also launch so far. Everything roll. is looking great. Here's another view uh, from the ground looking up into space. The United Five, uh, United uh, Launch Alliance Atlas Five now headed to outer space this morning. Uh, kind of touch and go out there this morning based on the wind conditions, but as you can see, it was no problem. They always say the cloud RCS cover in the rain is the, their worst fired. enemy, so the yeah. wind wasn't too terrible and they were able to make it happen. Yeah, let's bring Daryl Nail back in. Daryl, I know we cut you off. Just uh, You're about ready to interview somebody out there who has some good insight into this mission. Are they still around, or do you have, uh, do you have somebody else other insight out there? Yeah, I've got the Lieutenant Colonel Thomas St. Marie here joining us now. And this was uh, this was a beautiful launch we were watching here, uh, Lieutenant Colonel. Uh, you know, getting to see, I always say, the sunrise and the and the morning launches are always the best. What did you think about it? Absolutely. thought it was gorgeous. Uh, one of the things I like is, uh, you know, when it gets up there to altitude, and, and sometimes you can see some of that condensation uh, coming out of the plume. And uh, actually, today was such a clear day, you could see the shadow of the sun coming through through that and uh, just an absolutely picture perfect launch here from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. I'm a big fan of the evening launches too. Sometimes they, they light up the sky like that. Just absolutely gorgeous and uh, what a great day here on the Cape. It is indeed and, and the mission is interesting. We were talking about this a little bit earlier. Um, this completes a round of GPS satellites that are critical to um, the U.S. Air Force's military uh, resilience from attack and also civilian uses. Oh, absolutely. So, you know, 30 one satellites in the global positioning system right now with nine spares. Uh, so a lot of capability out there for the U.S. military. Like you mentioned, a lot of great uh, military codes uh, available on this satellite, but also a second civilian signal, uh, safety of life signal uh, that's available as well. The most advanced atomic clocks that we have for stability of that signal. Um, and really, uh, it's, GPS has become a global utility. Uh, it is out there for the entire world to use. It is integrated into our daily lives in ways uh, that folks may not know. You know, they know that app on their phone that tells them how to, you know, get to grandmother's house uh, for Thanksgiving dinner. But it's also, you know, there's a timing signal on board that you use to synchronize computer networks, banking transactions, cell phone towers. You know, our satellite link that we're using today on uh, on the news, uh, absolutely uses that GPS timing signal to sync everything up together and, uh, you know, be available for, for all of the different uses out there in the civilian world. It's a hard to imagine life without it at this point. Uh, but thank you very much, Lieutenant Colonel, for joining it us. It was a pleasure. Thank you. A beautiful launch. And, of course, um, we'll have more wrap-up as we get later into the news at the, for the evening uh, newscast. But, again, this is a successful launch of an Atlas V rocket with a GPS satellite. It has yet to put it into orbit, but we expect to have that happen soon. For now, we're live at Cape Canal. Air Force Station, Daryl Nail, Fox 35 News. All right, good stuff. Fascinating watch, Daryl. Mm -hmm. It was beautiful. I'm sure it was even prettier uh, being up close to it. Thanks. All right, we